Well, hi there. I'm here today with, I think, the reptile I've had the longest. Of the reptiles that I have now, Buttercup, my gopher snake, is the one that I've had the longest, and I adore her. She's incredible. But I'm, I'm here not to talk to you today about gopher snakes specifically, but about reptiles in general. I, I want to answer a question that well, was asked to me today. I get asked this question quite a bit, which is, why do you love reptiles so much? Why do you love keeping reptiles? And I think probably a lot of us have been asked this question before. Why do you want to keep a reptile? And I'm, I'm just going to share my reasons. These might not be your reasons, but this is my reasons why I love reptiles. To be honest, all my life I have loved animals. I was always interested in animals. I wanted to watch documentaries and shows about animals. There was an animal show I always watched with my mom growing up. And I love animals of all kinds. Really, I'm not just a reptile person. I am an animals of all kinds sort of person. Now, of course, the coolest animals that ever lived on the earth were dinosaurs. When I first loved animals, I first knew I loved them, I knew that the animal I loved the most was the built-in fan. <laughs> was a dinosaur. And I got to an age where I just decided I would probably never see a live dinosaur. And... And so reptiles, living reptiles like lizards and snakes and crocodilians, they became the thing that seemed the most similar to a dinosaur. And as I've gotten older, and as science has learned more, we've discovered that, you know, there are dinosaurs. The dinosaurs that were the coolest probably wouldn't have made good pets. Like, I couldn't have had a pet T-Rex. That wouldn't have been reasonable. And the dinosaurs that I could have had probably would have been about like this. And... The truth is, you can still have a dinosaur, because this is the direct descendant of the dinosaurs. It's the only living direct descendant of the dinosaurs, are the birds. And in fact, because they are dinosaurs, and because dinosaurs are right in the middle of the reptile group, birds are considered to be reptiles. You can see the scales on their feet. They're very, very cool animals. Uh, they are literally dinosaurs. When you watch them walk, it's no shocker. If you ever see a video of somebody who's attached a counterbalanced tail to a chicken, it turns even more into a dinosaur. This is a dinosaur! <laughs> and a fan! I love these dinosaurs! But there's a thing about keeping a living dinosaur, which is that dinosaurs are endothermic, at least the living ones. Which means that most of the things that they eat, they burn for heat. And so this creature needs to eat a lot more often than other reptiles do. And this creature, as a result of the fact that it eats a lot more often, is going to be a lot messier to keep than other living reptiles for the most part. And so I love living dinosaurs. They're cool, even if comparatively lame compared to their ancestors. I didn't say nothing. But I still like the scaly variety. I would have a difficult time telling you which specific animal is my very favorite because I love tons of them, but I can tell you exactly why I keep reptiles more than anything else, and that is largely because though reptiles are not necessarily the only awesome animals on the planet, th th this world is full of incredible things, things you've never heard of, things I've never heard of, things that nobody's ever seen before. But when it comes to wild animals, that you can actually reasonably keep in your home and interact with on a regular basis, reptiles are, in my opinion, the coolest ones bar none. Uh, every now and then I think about getting a mammal of some sort, even, even reasonable things like a dog. I'm like, maybe I should get a dog, and I start researching it, and you know, I start looking into the kind of things you're looking into right now for reptiles, and I get to the point of, okay, what are the pros and cons of keeping a dog, and I go, ooh, I better not. And you can tell, if you watch my videos, I've got a lot of reptiles, but one dog is probably more intense than all of my reptiles combined. And when you start to look at cool, wild sorts of mammals, it gets even more unreasonable. They just, for the most part, don't make good pets. And they're very, very high maintenance. You've got to be dealing with your mammals every day. Reptiles, on the other hand, can be kept very reasonably. Of course there are exceptions. I'm not talking about like a, a crocodile here. But there are lots of reptiles that you can reasonably keep in your bedroom. They're not going to take up a lot of space. They're not going to make a lot of noise. They're not going to destroy your whole house. They're fun and amazing to watch. Yet, if you have a day that's really, really difficult and you can't get around to dealing with that animal that day, hey, 
it's probably going to be fine. You don't have to get home early so you can let it out. If you go on vacation for a day or two, you just fill up its water bowl, feed it, and generally speaking, off you go, and you don't even have to worry about somebody to watch it unless you're going to be gone for several days at a time. That is an amazing thing. And then on top of that, they are just so special. And they're so misunderstood. I think, really, people seem to have the biggest problem with some sorts of insects like cockroaches, spiders, and snakes and other reptiles. Those seem to be the things that people are the most freaked out by. And a lot of these reptiles just don't deserve that reputation. And I feel like if you can show people that something they are so afraid of is as sweet as this incredible little snake is, they're going to view all of nature in a completely different light from that point on. The world will have changed in an instant, and one little snake like this can do that for somebody. Buttercup, I cannot tell you how many people. She has been the first snake that they have ever touched, that they've ever held, that they've ever loved, and oftentimes they walk away from their interaction with Buttercup and say, I want to get a snake now. Because some of them come back to me and go, can you help me find a snake? I've got to get one. She changes their perspective. And for me, I love reptiles partially because they're misunderstood. I would love to hear the reasons that you love keeping reptiles, the reasons you're thinking about getting a reptile now, the reason you got your first reptile, what your first reptile was. Please comment all of those things on this video and all of our videos. I love reading those things. As always, like and subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you real soon. So Buttercup is named after Buttercup from The Princess Bride. She's got a mask over her eyes, so we wanted to name her Wesley. But she's a female, so we had to name her Buttercup. And a little while later, I got one that I was promised was a male, so I named that one Wesley, and it was a female also. So I wound up with a female Wesley. Anyway, the animal I love the most was the built-in fan. This is a dinosaur. You were a good dinosaur. Oh no, I want a dinosaur. Plus it excretes food.